but only 20% of those people can read the book of Allah. Out of that 20% who can actually pick up the book and read, a fraction does not understand what is being said. This is our state. This is the book in which we all believe, and this is the book with which we have left no rapport, we don't even have access to the book. This severance between the only thread that we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the thread with which we can hope to enter his paradise, has been cut off. Our education, our circumstances, I don't need to go into details of how this happened, but it has happened. It has already happened. Dr. Ansari gave this beautiful example of the appointment of the Jew, but there is a Jew in the heart that has cut that bond with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of X number of circumstances. We simply do not have the most basic ability, 80% of Muslims, to pick up this book every single day and read an ayah. <coughs> As for the sunnah, the second thing that the Prophet said on that day to hold fast to, you all know the situation. At the beginning of the 20th century, there was a very organized, <coughs> deliberate effort to discredit the entire Hadith literature by the Orientalists. I was told today in a meeting before we came here by Brother Kali Zulkadar that almost every day one or the other brother comes to him and he says, we don't need to believe in Hadith. We have the Quran, Quran is good because Hadith, you know, how do we know? whether it's right or wrong. This is our state. Where does this thought come from? Where is the origin of, your, of a believer <coughs> saying these things? And these are educated people. Otherwise, this is the severance with the second source of our deen. The Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is now not even understood in the manner it was understood by the Sahaba people who saw him, the perfect model that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Without these sources, where are we? You know the situation of Muslims today? It's not the economic struggle, it's not the political problems. It's the severance from these two sources that has produced all kinds of diseases. The noble messenger told us that there is an organ in the, in the body. If it's sick, then the whole body is sick. This is that organ. This is that organ, and the food of this organ is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of his messenger. And this organ, this heart of the Muslim ummah is starving. It has no knowledge.